A student just asked me to help him understand the approach of Abraham Isaac Cook, who's uh, actually just known as Rav Cook. He was the first Ashkenazi chief rabbi of British Mandate Palestine, which would then become Israel. Um, he died in 1935, and so he didn't see the founding of the state. But one of the things that he uh, established, which became uh, one of the streams, the dominant stream of religious Zionism, was the notion that even the secular, especially the secular Jews who were responsible for the founding of the state, have a role to play in God's plan. It's a very powerful idea. It, seem, it's, it sees every human being as functioning as part of holiness unfolding in the world. So whereas the religious Jews of pre-modern state of Israel would see the only way to hasten the coming of the Messiah, which is another way of saying to make the world more the world that's supposed to be than the world that currently is, they would have seen religious acts as uh, having spiritual import. If you want the world to get better, keep Shabbat. If you want the world to, keep, to be better, keep kosher. If you want to see the world be better, daven, pray. And those things, I think, have tremendous religious value. For me, however, they're transformed, and perhaps this is one of the ways that Rav Cook has influenced modern mainstream Judaism. They're influenced, uh, every act influences the world. And so the secular Zionists, which created Israel as it was born, um, found a place, a small place, for what we today consider mainstream religious Judaism, um, but were themselves determined to recreate the world as Jews, leaving the ritual behind. Rav Cook found that to be a redemptive act. Now, he was very concerned with a particular Jewish narrative, with Jews succeeding in the world, but he didn't see Judaism as monolithic. He would require, and this is something that he was known for, if a secular Jew would come to his home in British Mandate Palestine, he required of them to take off the kippah that they had put on out of respect for him. Now, what does that mean? It means that he wanted you to be precisely who you were and affirmed your import, your worth in God's eyes. Now, there are some who say that he saw the secular Zionists, and I would extend that to be people who work for the betterment of the world, as a tool, as a stepping stone, as a step toward what would become a more pervasive religious uh, society. But if you take his approach, the sanctity of every human being on their own terms as part of what God intends for the world, then you would have a radically different notion of religion in this world, both in Israel and beyond. Because then the people who come to see me need not conform to my religious identity in order to have worth in my notion of what God wants. It's another way of saying every human being and their life's commitments can be holy for a religious person.